Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome, welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, thank you for watching. Alrighty everyone, so today I am going to be pulling all of the money out of my binders and tracking them on my savings challenge tracker. It's been a few months since I've done this, but I like to do it every month if I can. And what I wanna do is pull all of the money out of the binders, whether the challenge is completed or not, because I wanna get all of that money over to my high yield savings account if it's in cash. If it's in prop money and it's already sitting in my high yield savings account, then I want to take the money and reallocate it into my big savings goal of saving $10,000 and I am excited to reach that goal. So I'm excited to get the money pulled out of these binders and see how close I am towards that goal. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. I'll grab a binder and we'll just get started. I am going to write it all down, track it all on my savings tracker. You guys can find this in my Etsy shop as a digital download bundle. Um, and it just gives me a way to be able to track every month so that I can see how much I'm saving throughout the year. I'm going to start with this one right here. And I have pulled all the cash for all the months so far except for May. So let's pull out May. And again, even though May is not complete, I've got a few more spots to complete it. I'm pulling all of the cash. So let's go ahead and pull the cash for June as well. And there's five in there. And then I haven't started on July yet. I am behind on this one. I'm trying to get caught up. So, okay. So this one is the every fifth day challenge. And I have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So let's go ahead and write fifth day. And I started, it looks like May was the last time I pulled this. So I'm going to write May. And then I'm going to write July. And I think I said 55, but let's double count. One, two, uh, just kidding. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Yes. So 55 is correct. So let's write $55. Okay. Next binder I'm going to go to is this one here. I have been saving along with my um, personal spending binder. And in the back here, I have these challenges from Budget with Ira. So I've got his save five. So let's pull out the fives. And then I've got save 10 pull out the tens and then I've got the save 20. Let's pull out the 20s. And then solo, I have been saving in solo as well. Let's go ahead and pull that out. And then I've got this money as well, which I probably will just add together with this. So just because I'm curious how much I saved in solo, I want to count this one separately. But I'm going to add all these challenges together on one line. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23 dollars I saved in solo, which is good. And then I'm also going to add this money here that I've been saving in the 12 month challenge from Budget with Ira. I have 50, 70, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 200, and 5, 6, 7. So 207 in that challenge, which is good. So then let's just go ahead and add it to the save 20, 10s, and 5s money as well. Okay, finally, I think I got all of the money together for this purple binder. And I think what I'm going to call this line is just purple binder. I don't want to run out of spaces, so... Okay, so purple binder, and I started refilling that in June of 24, and we're pulling it in July of 24. Okay, so all together, I have 50, 70, 90, 110, 30, 50, 70, 90, 
200 and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. So 370, I believe, but I'm going to double check it. I'm going to set my 50 aside for a second. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75, 85, 95. 350, 5, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. So $370 is correct. Let's go ahead and write it down. 370 and then I can go ahead and put the money right over here into the cash tray so I am going to have a mix of cash and prop money but I'm just going to separate it out when I reallocate the money I might reallocate in this video I'm not sure but we'll see Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get into this one so, Budging Bessie's Bingo. I need to catch up on this. I have fallen off track with this for sure. I have been super busy, guys. And let's be honest. Like, why have I been so busy? So, I have a full-time job now. But um, the reason that I went back to work and all of that is I wanted to earn more money. We were trying to qualify for a house. And our plans have kind of changed. So, I'm going to tell you a little bit about our new plans and how things have changed for us while I organize and count this money up. Um, I'm just writing Lisa Grateful Me. Those are three challenges from her. I started those in June as well. And so our goal was to buy a house and we had been having such a hard time trying to find a house. Um, not a lot was coming on the market in our area and um unfortunately the rates are still really high and it kind of just made us like question you know our motivation to buy a house right now and so we have decided to actually hold out and just continue saving um and yeah just putting ourselves in a better position and waiting in hopes that the rates will come down, the market will start to look a little bit better for us when we do get back to house hunting. And yeah, we also are questioning whether we actually want to buy in this area or maybe if we want to set more of a long-term goal to move to Canada. I had really been kind of pushing that topic with my wife Vanessa and so we are kind of on the same page right now where we're holding out and we're just going to save as much as possible. We want to pay down all of our debt. So although we are credit card debt free, we are not vehicle debt free. And so our main focus is just going to be savings, hammering on any debt that we still have, getting ourselves into the best position possible for when we do want to buy and or move. And so that's the focus right now. So in case you guys wanted an update, there's the update. Um, these challenges have 1, 50, 2, 50, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 81. Okay, so 381, I believe. I'm going to put it on the calculator. And then we're going to count it a second time and make sure I got the right number. So 1, 52. 53, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81. So $381 is correct. And that is what I saved in these three challenges from Lisa Grateful Me. And again, I'm just going to like mix everything together and I will sort out the prop from the regular money at the end. So let's just go ahead and pop this in its place. I'm going to try to keep it so the prop is in front of the regular cash. Okay, so let's go to the next one in the binder here. Skipping this, I'm going to leave that cash in there. This one here is my color roll and save. And it looks like I have $6 in there since the last time I had pulled money. Let's go ahead and add the six dollars to what i have saved in these challenges which is like a march challenge and it was some um 
Easter challenges as well. So let's just put Easter. And then we'll just add all of this money together and see what we have. Looks like a bunch of ones. There's a 50. Yeah, so I'm really excited about our plan. To be honest, I was getting super excited about like house hunting and looking at houses, but like the prospect of going to Canada sooner rather than later is super exciting for me. So yeah, I'm just kind of excited for this new goal. 50, 100, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. So 165, let me put it on the calculator. And then we will, I think I started these in April and, and pulled them in July. And then let's double count it. 51, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 165 is correct. So let's write 165. Perfect. And then we'll put it over here. So when Vanessa and I first got married, we always wanted to go to Canada eventually. The idea was to like have her come over here, get her citizenship here. And then like eventually in life, we would do the opposite where I would go to Canada and then I would get my citizenship over there. And we have just kind of really settled in in the United States. And so we kept like pushing that off in life. And I was talking with her and I was like, you know, Finn's going to be three this year. Like he's going to start going to school in a couple of years. Like, you know, we've been, you know, pushing this off for like later in life, but it's like, when really is later in life? Cause like we're mid thirties now, like, you know, maybe this is something we want to do sooner rather than later. And it took like a, definitely a few conversations, but she has come around to the idea and I'm very excited about it because I've wanted to go there for a long time. So, all right, let's give this one a count. This one is the boba one, and then it's like a pretty horse one from Lady Die Saves. So I think I'm just gonna call it boba for the boba challenge from Snow Gardener 307. So let's go ahead and give this a count. 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. So 51, let me put it on the calculator. And then I'm gonna say April with this one as well. And I'm gonna count this one more time. 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. Perfect. And we do go to Canada a lot and like visit her family. And I love going there and visiting with her family and stuff. And of course that's where she was born and raised. So to her, she's like not as excited to go back because she's like been there, done that, you know what I mean? But I'm like, I just, I wanna live there, <laughs> like. So um, 51, My, I need to make sure that I don't think that's a seven. But yeah, we went back recently, um, like last weekend, and she was like, actually, I'm kind of excited to come back here. And, you know, I think Finn is gonna love it. And so we're just like talking about it. And honestly, like it's not happening anytime soon. Like this is still like, this is like a, two to four year plan at this point I would say um just because I'm gonna call this the turtle challenge um just because we do want to be like a hundred percent debt free and we both have vehicle loans right now and then we want to have like as much money saved as possible like a really good amount of money because the whole process of moving to another country like it is pretty expensive we did it of course when she came here so um yeah, just our our goal is just saving as much as possible and hammering on debt. And that's, yeah, that's just going to be the goal for right now. I'm super excited about it, though. Uh, Long-term goal for sure, but very exciting. So hopefully I can get her back on this channel sometime soon, and then she can tell you how she feels about it. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48 dollars. Yeah. With Vanessa, she just wants me to like make my mind up and, <laughs> and stick to one thing. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48 is correct because she knows me and she knows that I'm just sometimes I'm very like, ooh, you know, I want to do this and then I want to do that. And so she's like, whatever you want to do, as long as you are set on it, 
then I'm good with it. So I have been, we've been talking about it for like at least a month now. And that is, that's looking like the main goal. So I'm excited to tell you guys about it because I feel like you've heard me talk a few times about me wanting to move to Canada. And so you're probably like, well, are you ever going to actually do it, Kels? And the answer is yes, hopefully in a few years. <laughs> All right, next one is my cute little mushroom savings challenge. You guys can find that one in my Etsy shop, which is linked below as well. Okay, so the mushroom and then got this one. Should I combine it? I think I'm going to combine it with this springtime challenge as well. So let's just do that. While I'm in this binder, I'll pull it. So let's just call this springtime I just called it spring. And let's give it a count and see what we have. All right, so I've got 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 1, 2. So 92, 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92. I always count my money twice because, boy, pff, I've counted wrong before. And with these, when I'm adding it all up, I have messed that up before too. So it's always nice to be like double sure about how much money I really have. I think I just finished that binder. So let's move on to this binder right here. All right. And this one is complete. I think almost all of these are complete. So again, I'm going to try to like combine some challenges um, just so that I have enough lines I don't mind combining them. So the kitty one, actually, I should probably be pulling the challenges out if they're complete. So let's go ahead and do that as well. So that's a complete challenge. This one is not, and it lost its little, you know what I've done, guys? I have broken the zipper off of this one. And so I think I'm just gonna take this envelope right out, toss it, and then I will put this in here because this challenge is not yet complete. So let's just, let's just do this. All right. And I'm combining it with the kitty challenge and I'm just gonna call it kitty for now. So I'll set that over there. I'm gonna need to combine a lot more unless I print off a second page. Um, which I have done before and I might need to do because it's been so long since I pulled money. I'm just going to combine it with this one as well, guys. Get this. Just pull this money out of here too. Boom. Okay, so that's three things. Is this complete? So that's three envelopes that are getting combined into one. That's a complete challenge. We'll pull it out and let's add this money together and see how much we have saved for this one. All right. I have 150, 70, 90, $210. So $210. I'm just gonna say that it was started in April as well. So 150, 70, 90, 205, 10 dollars. Let's write the 210 down and we'll add that in over here. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. It has been so hot. Oh my gosh, guys. And it's been so hard for me to film because I don't have air conditioning in my office. And so, yeah, it's just been brutal. Um, but I am sweating it out for you guys. This is my cute little cow savings challenge. Oh my gosh, I love it. That one is complete. Let's go ahead and combine it with this complete savings challenge from Laura Bell Creations. Super cute. And then I think that's it. I've got some prop money in here, but this is... Um, older prop money that is in a different savings account than this prop money. So I'm not going to add it towards um, this money right now because it's not going towards my 10k goal. It's actually just in my emergency fund. Okay, so these two, I'm going to call this cow. And I started this one in June. Okay, and then let's count up and see how much we have here. 
All right, so I've got 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 25, 26. So 126, and then let's count it one more time. 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 20, 25, 26. So 126 is correct. And let's pop it over here. Perfect. Awesome. Wow, this is filling up. This is so exciting. Okay, next binder. Let's go right here. Okay, this money I want to leave because I do want to continue with this and not pull the money each time. So let's go ahead and see what else we have in here. This is my color scratch and save challenge, which is complete. So let's set it aside. And that was a cupcake challenge. And then we have puppy love. Super cute. Let's pull puppy love as well. And that is another one of my challenges. And then finally, we have my Be Mine Boo Savings Challenge. And I'm going to pull this one as well. And we will add it together. We'll just call it a Valentine's Savings Challenge. So let's go ahead and just write Valentine's. And let's put February on here because I'm pretty sure that's when I would have started those challenges. Let's add these three together and see how much we have. Okay. So in total, I've got 51, 50, 60, 75, 85, 91. So 191, I believe. 50, 100, 50, 60, 75, 85, 90, 91. So $191 is correct. And then let's add it up. It's so crazy how fast these challenges like add up, especially if you don't pull them like every month. Like it's been a few months since I pulled them. And this is like a good amount. I'm excited to see how much it is at the end. All right, let's keep going. Mm -hmm. All right, this next one is complete as well from Ellie on Earth. We'll set that one aside and pull the money. And then this one is a cute little panda challenge from Bee's Budgets. And this one is complete as well. So let's set that one aside. And since there's only one more, I might as well just combine all three. And this one came from Budgets and Chaos. So let's set that aside. That was a $100 challenge. And that does it for this binder. So let's just go ahead and call it Panda since that cute little Panda challenge was in there. And I probably started those in February as well. So we will just do that. Let's go ahead and add this up. All right. So. I have 1, 50, 70, 90, 2, 10, 25. So 225, and let's double check it. 1, 50, 70, 90, 2, 10, 225. So 225 is correct. All right, let's go ahead and add it over here in the cash tray. Perfect. All right. I think I finished that one. So let's go here and just see if there's anything in this binder. This money is for my son. I'm going to leave it in there. And th this money I'm not touching. This money I'm not touching. Okay, so there's nothing else that I need to pull. So this stuff is going to stay. Obviously, that box is going to stay. And then that's it for what I have in front of me for binders to pull from. So we can go ahead and add all of this up and see how much money we should have. So 55 plus 370 plus 381 plus 165 plus 51 plus 48, 92 plus 210 plus 126 plus 191 plus 225 is $1,914. I'm gonna leave it on the calculator. I'm not gonna write it down. And let's go ahead and just like add up all the money together and see if that's how much we have so we're looking for 1914 like you can very clearly see where the prop money is and where the cash is 
All right, one, two, three, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 50, 1,000. So that is 1,000 right there. And then, so this prop money is so hard to count because it's so like slippery. So I'm just gonna put it in the cash tray after I'm done counting it. Okay. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 94, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 96, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 5, 85, 95, 700, and 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 35, 40, 5, 50, 5, 65, 75, 85, 95, 800, and 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 60, 860, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 902. Okay, so I didn't get the same number. I got 1,902. So I am going to, I'm going to add it all up one more time, and I'm also going to count it all up one more time. So let's just, I wrote both numbers down. So let's just double check. 55 plus. Okay, so I got the same number, 1,914. So I'm going to recount it in here and see what we get and add it on the calculator. One, two, three, 300 plus 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 5,700. So that was correct that the ones in 50, what the 100s and the 50s make a thousand. So let's keep going. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 360. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 10, 20. So 320. Okay. And then we have. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 90. So 190. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four. Oh, yay, I got the right number. Okay, so the first time I counted it all together, I was wrong. I really do have 1,914, which is correct and awesome. Almost two grand saved. That is awesome. So 1,914, and let's write it in. Okay, so now comes the fun part. I think I will go right ahead and reallocate some of this money. So what we need to do is we need to separate out the prop money from the cash. So let's go ahead and pull all the prop money out and we can like add it up. And then it is going towards my big savings goal. As I said, I'm trying to save $10,000 in my high yield savings account. And I can't wait until I do. I feel like I'm getting close. Okay. 
So that should be all the prop. Let's go ahead and put it in order now. And I do like using the prop money for the high yield transfers. I feel like it's been working really well and it's just a nice feeling knowing that all of this cash isn't sitting in cash in my house. So yeah, I have been liking that. Okay, I'm gonna count this up and see how much money we have going towards my $10,000 savings goal. I've got one, two, three, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. I want to double count this because that might not be right. One, two, three, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 50. Okay, 950 is correct. So I'm gonna put it on the calculator, 950 plus 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, so 380. Okay, and then let's add this up. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 80. Oh my goodness. <laughs> plus 80. Plus 10, 20. Oh my gosh. What is going on here? Plus 20, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, plus 10 equals. Okay, 1440. So 1440 is what I believe we have going towards the 10K. Okay, so if I take the 1914 and minus the 1440. $474 is how much should be right here. So let's see if that is correct. 474, so 50 plus 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100, and 5, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so 446. I'm just kidding. So 464 instead of 474. So I either counted wrong or yeah, I might have counted wrong. Oh my gosh, I'm so hot, guys. I'm over here sweating for you. Okay, let's count it one more time because who knows what's wrong. Um plus 1440 equals. Yeah, I'm missing ten dollars. So let's count it again. 50 plus 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 40, 140. Probably messed up in the tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah, that's what it was. It was 140, not 130. So two of those tens stuck together. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100, and 5, 10. So 110 plus 34 equals 447 plus the 1,440 here equals the 1914. So we are correct. So I can go ahead and write this number down, feeling confident that that is how much money is right here. So this is my new binder that is going to be my sinking funds. And in my sinking funds, I have a category called savings goal. And that is where this money is going. So this is just a prop motivational bill, so I will keep that in there. And let's go ahead, I'm still missing one of my, one time I added money to this and I forgot to write it down, but let's add it right here. We are adding in $1,440 towards my savings goal of saving $10,000. I will take this money and reallocate it into my 6K and 4K mega dice bundle binder from budget with ira 
and we will do that in another video and I'm so excited for that. And then we've got the rest of this money to deal with. Now, I we have been doing some travel and just kind of spending as we go in that regard. So I'm not going to put any money to travel. But I do want to put some money to birthday because in August, it's Finney's birthday. And so I think, yeah, we definitely want to put some money towards that. So I think what I want to do is put maybe $250 towards it. Um, so let's go ahead and add up 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. So that's 200 and then a 50. So let's do 250. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, and 50. Okay, so that feels good. 250 going to Finney's birthday. And we're gonna have a, oh, let me let me write that down. We're gonna have a Paw Patrol birthday party for him. Oh my God, it's gonna be so cute, 250. And um, yeah, we're gonna get him, I think we're gonna maybe do a custom cake this year. Vanessa's been really wanting to do one and it's just gonna be super cute. So um, clothing, I don't really wanna put anything towards. Car maintenance, I probably could. Vet maybe needs some money because we actually had to go to the vet recently for Rudy. My gosh, it's been rough with this, <laughs> um, with this dog. She's got stomach issues now. And so, yeah, she just has a very sensitive stomach. So if she eats anything that's not her normal, like kibble and soft food mixture, her system just goes haywire. So we actually had to bring her in not too long ago and we just paid for that out of pocket. So I should probably put some money towards vet so that we're prepared for next time. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 5, 85, 95, 100. Maybe I'll just do 100 there and then the rest of this money can just go to car maintenance. I think that'll be good. So let's go ahead and do that. For vet, I've got... 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95. I think I counted wrong. Hold on. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Now what happened was is those two tens that kept getting stuck together got stuck together again. So let's do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. I try to like separate them a little bit. Um, yeah, so let's do 100 in here. That feels good. Um, I thought I had one going for vet, but you know what? Now that I think about it, I might have pulled it out. So I'll just, I'll just start re-adding money for this. I don't remember what I made the goal. Um, so let's just add in the 100 for now. Just to try to keep track of things. And then the rest of the money I'm going to put towards car maintenance for oil changes and things like that. So let's go ahead and grab out car maintenance and see how much we're adding. I've got 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 90, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 124 dollars. So add 124. Perfect. I'm gonna double count it one more time just to be sure. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 100 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 124 dollars is correct going towards car maintenance. I really love my new binder, the fact that it's now an A5 and I can fit all of this money without needing to cash condense it, but I might actually come back to this binder and cash condense it. Um, maybe in my next savings challenge video if I've got some higher bills just to just yeah basically condense the binder so it's a little bit um slimmer because it's kind of thick right now but I love it a5 is the way to go with my sinking funds and reallocating all that money so that is awesome I really love pulling all that money out of the binders and getting it towards my savings goal and some sinking funds I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope that you have subscribed to my channel if you are not already subscribed because coming soon I will be doing 
a savings challenge video where I put all of that prop money towards my goal of saving $10,000 with the 6k poster and the 4k mega dice bundle and those are always fun so you won't want to miss it but that is going to be it for today's video and other than that I will see you guys in my next one bye